We'll start by reviewing the frames at the top. We have a 3x3 three three grid with alternating black and white squares in each frame. Also, there's an arrow in two of the squares in each frame. One of the arrows is white and the other is black. As the position of the squares is always the same, let's focus on the arrows for now. Let's first look at the black arrow. We see that it moves from frame 1 to frame 2 and that it's invisible in frame 3. When we check the first two frames, we notice that the black arrow points to the centre left square in frame 1 and then seems to have moved there in frame 2. In frame 2, it points up to the black square in the top left. That dynamic suggests that the arrows indicate their own future position, but also the fact that if they land on a square that's the same colour as they are, they become invisible. That pattern works between frames 3 and 4 if we assume that the black arrow is in the top left and pointing to the right in frame 3, thus positioning itself in the top centre in frame 4. When we look at the white arrow across the frames, we see that the same logic applies. These observations will provide us with three rules. The first rule is that there's one black arrow and one white arrow in each frame. The second rule is that the arrows move in the direction in which they're pointing in the previous frame. And the third rule is that when an arrow and the background square are the same colour, the arrow's not visible. Thus, the black arrow won't be visible in the answer, since it's pointing to the bottom right in frame 5, which is a black square. That rules out answer options B, C and E. Out of answer options A and D, we can rule out A, since the white arrow couldn't possibly have moved all the way from the centre left, where it was invisible in frame 5, to the bottom left in the next frame. So the answer is D. Thank you.